Hello. Uh, Sparrow now uh, allows to process multi-page uh, PDF documents. And the way it works, uh, it takes PDF, then it splits PDF into the uh, pages, then it automatically converts each page into image. And then uh, in a loop, it basically uh, runs through each uh, image and uh, sends uh, this image to uh, Visual LM backend with the predefined uh, query JSON schema, then gets back the response from Visual LLM and then it does post processing validation, uh, checks if the response is valid according to the uh, query JSON schema, uh, set, sets the flag for that, and then when uh, we get a response for all the pages, then uh, JSON structure uh, for all the pages is um, aggregated into the single response and uh, indicators uh, for each uh, section uh, coming from uh, each page is being marked with the page number. So let's uh, see uh, how this looks like. And I'm switching to another machine here uh, to my Mac Mini M4 machine. And this is where uh, actual execution uh, actually happens. And uh, because this document is a five pages document, uh, taken from public information for the Oracle Financial Report. Uh, it runs uh, not as fast, so I, I, I executed this uh, uh, test uh, before recording the video, and now I'll show you how it looks like. So this is the, the document I was processing. Uh, you can see uh, this is the table with uh, different uh, financial information and uh, uh, financial values for the previous and current period. Okay, and then if I switch to the execution window, you can see this is the query which was executed to uh, with the JSON uh, schema to fetch uh, table data and to fetch description, which is string, and latest amount and previous amount where both are numbers. Then we're using uh, MLX backend here and Q1272 billion model with four bit quantization. And this is the path of, to the file that we are processing. Then it was executing here, and this is the way how query was constructed by Sparrow, where we say that we want to retrieve the field names as specified. Uh, we want to return JSON schema, and please follow the uh, the JSON schema uh, the, which was uh, specified in the query. Then trans and uh, now executes uh, the document page by page. We see uh, it failed to process the first page uh, because it was quite a large table and uh, it looks like 4-bit quantization can handle uh, this kind of, of a complexity. And I'm looking how to tune and improve this. And hopefully this will be the topic for the next video. But for now it's fine because we're looking here just uh, how to process multi-page documents. Okay, then uh, the queries were for each page were executed, then validation step runs, and uh, for the first page it says validation failed, and it prints the output that was uh, received from LLM, and we see it's not st structured output, it's just some general text saying that it was not, not able to handle that kind of uh, uh, information from that page. For the other pages, for the Two, three, four, five. Uh, we get uh, information that validation passed. This means some data was extracted, and it took uh, those five pages. Uh, it took 526 seconds to process in this case. And here we get the output. So this is the page one information that it failed with some with uh, with the message that uh, the JSON format was invalid. Obviously, <clears throat> it was not structured. And then we get for the page two, we get the data here and valid true. In this case, maybe uh, not sure uh, if all or not all rows were processed. Uh, again, because four bit quantization seems like uh, not uh, enough to process uh, uh, more complex documents, but at least we get uh, structured response in this case. Then for page number three, we also get values. Uh, and for page four, it's also uh, as expected and valid true. And for the page five, it's also a single line is returned, but at least this is the valid response. 
okay so this is how it works and now if you look into the code uh, this uh, sparrow parse agent and this agent executes the uh, query to the mlx backend uh, in our case uh, using q12 72 billion uh, four bit quantization model and uh, as soon as we get output and this output contains uh, uh, aggregated output for all the pages we call uh, process llm output method where we check how many pages are included into the response in our case we get, we get multiple pages so then we go in a loop here and uh, we validate each page separately and uh, this is how we assign a valid property either true or actual error message and then as uh, uh, as we process it in a loop for each page then we also after the validation step we assign page number so that it's easy to uh, understand later uh, when we will process the a response in our application it will be easy to understand to which page this answer belongs okay and now if you look into the sparrow parse library which is responsible for actual communication with the visual LM backend we'll see this a process PDF method which is invoked in case when uh, not single page image but in case of PDF is being passed then in the first step it uh, goes and splits uh, PDF into the pages and converts into images and then it sends this array of uh, images to uh, model uh, inference instance and to execute inference based on the backend that is specified in the options it can be either MLX backend or hugging face private GPU backend or maybe uh, some local GPU backend, uh, depending how you are running Sparrow. And at the end, uh, all the files are being removed, so that uh, there's no, uh, in terms of privacy concern, there's nothing stored on disk at the end after the request is being executed. And in our case, we're running uh, MLX inference backend. Uh, this is the method here, and we go in a loop, and since, in our case, multiple uh, files multiple images each for uh, each page was received and uh, converted we go in loop here execute inference uh, with MLX backend and each result is being appended to the list and then this list is being returned uh, back to the extractor and then the results array is being returned back to the uh, main uh, Sparrow engine where in the post-processing validation step is executed like I was explaining in the, in, uh, in the beginning of the video. So this is the multi-page support and now I'm working on optimization uh, functionality where uh, you'll be able to pass option uh, to process tables only. In this case Sparrow will identify a table area in a document, crop it and uh, send this cropped image only to the visual LLM and this should improve the uh, visual LLM response because there will be uh, basically less information to process for the visual LLM. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!